Good evening. This is day three of God's Call for Global Prayer Session 2. It's the evening time. Um, it is 6.53. I'm a little tired today, but I am going to, of course, read our prayer at 7 o'clock. And I wanted to cover, um, we still have portions of jeremiah chapter 6 to to cover and i have them there but as i was reading um how i shortened them up um actually i think i'm just gonna read them okay so for we were we left at number six and so for six i have and this is again jeremiah chapter six so for the lord of hosts says cut down her trees and surround the city for they must punish be punished remember i, I put it as a simplified version okay i mean never to try to change the words this is something that um god impressed in my spirit because i'm definitely looking for um that's part of where I'm I'm getting to. I'm trying to simplify everything so everybody can understand um, the verses. You know, everything is up for debate. We could discuss this once I'm up live, which I will be very happy to be once I have somebody coming to see a prayer with me. But I'm going to keep the prayer going because I believe my God Almighty wants you. It takes a little world when when a little whirlpool starts just with a little bit of energy, and it takes time. It takes time, but once it goes around, it goes around, it goes around. It could, it could cause a lot, and I really feel that um, um, we should obey um, and do this prayer seven o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock at night. It's a strong prayer. It's to um, protect us daily. That's number one because you're putting on the armor. Um, humble ourselves in front of our Father. And um, there was a there's a preacher which I love. His name is Derek Prince. I already gave you guys um, his his name, and I, I you should you should go up to his channel. Any which way, David Prince. One time he got sick, and he's telling a, a story. He's like. I got sick that I couldn't, nobody could help me. Nobody could help me. Nobody could help me. And there, there was these nurse, um, these nuns at the time, they used to come and pray for him. And he used to look at them. Mind you, he used to read the Bible at this time. I don't know if he was preaching yet. But um, he used to read the Bible. So he, he was aware about the Bible. So he was like, if I had more faith, I would be able to um cure myself because i don't know what the nurses I, I don't remember the whole details of the story but one of the nuns i think she spoke about a scripture that spoke about healing yourself through faith something like that so um so um derek prince was like well if i could do that if that could happen well i'm gonna read the bible like if it's my medicine so with that being said he actually did get cured i mean you know, I have so much hope and I know the power of prayer and I know the power of my father. There's no power in this world that it's just like we got it, you know, and honestly, we need to pray. We need to put God in our hearts. We need to clear our minds, all of us. All I mean, it's a, I am a work in process, right? But the more we lift up God's word and we could converse on it. You know, the more we lighten it up, it lights up in our hearts. The more we speak to him, we're just speaking to him, right? Because like I told you, I believe in the Holy Spirit, but I've never um, been pertained to any church. Maybe a, the new age one, but that's a that's for another story. If I ever get any subscribers to, to tell my stories to, but any which way. Um, we at 657 and that's the thought of the day, but I did want to speak about, um, something cause I've never heard this verse today. I mean, before and today I heard it, um, and to, and it, this definitely falls under me because 
like I said, I, I learned about um, God definitely just reading the Bible, pray, um, talking to him. At the beginning, it was all talking to him, talking to him. Always, at, He was always by my side. Um, and then later on, I started reading scriptures and just, you know, a whole bunch of different things. But any which way. So there I was introduced to James 1, um, 26. Right. If anyone thinks himself to be religious, scrupulous of uh, observ observant of the rituals of his faith and does not control his tongue, but the lose his own heart. This person religious is worthless, futile, barren. And then number seven goes pure and unblemished religion as it is expressed in the outward acts. In the sight of God and his father is this, to visit and look after the fatherless and the widows in their distress and to keep oneself uncontaminated by the secular world. So that's really beautiful, right? Because, you know, I don't think any religion should give um, themselves titles. You know, we are the kingdom of God. We are the children of God. But any which way, it's 6.59. Let's start with our prayer. Because I must obey. And okay, so of course our purpose is, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from, their, from heaven, forgive their sin, and will heal their land. And with this, we are asked, so we are asking your permission to put on the full armor of God for his, for his precepts. For preparation are likely the splendid armor of heavenly armed, armed soldiers, so that we may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and the strategies and the deceits of the devil. For all struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against powers, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand firm in your place, fully prepared and mobile, victorious. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the wide band of truth around your waist and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, an upright heart, personal integrity and morals, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm footy stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and petition, pray for the healing of God's people's minds to further restore God in their hearts, to then be able to save their souls, all through the miracle of our glorious Father in heaven, through his beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. And here is the, our intercession. Also, I, I, I am praying for Ottawa and Canada. They're going through ugh, the that emergency act. They're voting on it. It's just ridiculous. I... I tell you, again, I ask for all the wicked ones to be scattered. Oh, they will be scattered. They will be scattered. And blind them, blind them. Because this is just outrageous. I pray for the people in Canada. I pray for the people in Canada. I also pray for the people in, um, sorry about that, um, Bogota, um, Israel, Australia, Paris. And the whole world, this is a prayer for the whole world. This is a calling for the whole world for us to get together and do our 7 o'clock prayers in the morning, 7 o'clock at night. Just like Derek Prince, they, um, or oh, haven't finished. Sorry. We got to go back to the prayer. Okay. At all times, on every occasion, and every season in the spirit, and with this view, stay alert with all perseverance and petition, interceding in prayer. 
for all God's people and pray for me that words may be given to me when I open my mouth to proclaim boldly the mystery of the good news of salvation for which I am an ambassador in chains and pay and pray that in proclaiming it I may speak boldly courageously and I sh as I should <sighs> I guess so um, excited. But what I was trying to say is that we need to um, start this prayer sessions. Again, the more people that that are able to build the energy, it's not going to be long. Look, this one is at 1033. And that's where I want to get it. Just a 10 minute session. Just so, so we could create that energy. And let's take advice from a man that he he cured himself. Just from reading the Bible, he said, well, if medicine can help me, nothing can help me. My medicine is reading the Bible and he will read it. I think it was, he said two or three times a day. The call got impressed in my spirit is for two times a day, seven o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock at night. I hope and I pray and I pray and I pray. That you guys um join me and hopefully we'll be having um live streams soon i'm ready for them i got my camera today i'm still looking at them i might start tomorrow morning on a live stream but i gotta check out the camera how it works and how to connect it i'm not a techie so i gotta do all of that i love you guys i'm so sorry let's say a prayer our father who art in heaven Glory be to thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation and deliver us from the evil ones. Amen. God bless all of you. Walk with, with may, may God walk with you always. And everyone in Canada, please do not forget. God is with you. You guys are so, you're, when I see your movements, it's so impressive. When I see the, the love that's there and I'm going to shout it, shout it out. It's all love. So good. When I saw that you guys confronted the police officers with flowers. Oh my God. That's it. It's just like, you cannot demonstrate more of a Christ um, behavior. Please stay like that. Please stay like that because God's glorious hand is on top of you. I hope, I hope I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. And I know, I know because there's love there. There's love there. Where there's love, that's where my father's at. God be with you. Everything's going to be okay. Bendicion, have a good night. I hope somebody joins me in the morning.